seeks to add a man in fatuity with love, her ardent and eager slave. So fetch the pomade and pomade stone and lend me a more seductive tone, a sprinkling perhaps of French cologne, but first, sir, I think a shave. The closest I ever came. Hello, everyone. Black Sword here again. Today very special day. It's an anniversary with someone very near and dear to, well, where once was my heart. Our own number four, our own chilly academic. Yes, it is April the 10th, 410. I'm Overwrought with a sense of nervousness, I suppose. I've really just realized the gravity of the situation that I'm in. I'm going to have a child soon. And here we are, no closer to completing Kingdom Hearts. Is it wrong of me to raise a child if I don't have a heart. I have uh, excellent plans for tonight. I've invited Bexen over for five o'clock and we're going to have dinner together. Uh, my treat. I'm going to uh, be cooking. Not much has been going on in the castle uh, as far as I can tell. I mean, I'm not usually up on all the rumors anyway. Uh, Although, I am a bit concerned with our dearest Ienzo. He's seeming rather... Well, more quiet than usual, I suppose. I'm a tad worried about him, but, you know, it's never really my grounds to talk to him. I don't usually wander down into the labs unless it's for Vexen. <sighs> Suppose I'll have to make time to check in for some friendly conversation. Make sure everything's all right. Where did I put my cufflinks? Oh, there they are. Now, as far as the child goes, I'm not quite sure what progress we've made. Uh, well, when I say we, I mean Bex and I have no idea how any of this is going to work, but. He seems hopeful and supportive. I just want to be a father. I want to have my normal life again. No, don't be a downer. Don't be a downer. My earring. One of them. <laughs> now, corsage. Damn. Where's my Lucia when you need him? I will be seen without a corsage. Ah, I'm sure Vexen wouldn't mind. That man hasn't seen much of high society anyway to know the difference. <laughs> now then, to try to make this as quickly as possible, I do not want to be late. Well, what's this? You are far too kind. I'll have to draw us up something good in celebration. Hmm, from Vexen. Oh, nice. Groomed. Perfumed. <sighs> I suppose now I should complete this masterpiece of formal wear. I think I'm ready for a lovely night of dinner with my favorite scientist. Oh, it is about quarter to five right now, so I'm just making it on time.
patient is feeling. And now for some ambiance. A vanilla candle. How foolish of me to forget the alcohol. Well, now I suppose all I have to do is wait. He should be coming down to my personal dining quarters any minute now. Um, I have my phone here, just in case. Um, so I suppose the only thing now is to see what the fates have to say about it. Three of them. I mean, I fail. One of them, all the success that I could have ever hoped for. Which would you pick? <laughs> I always know the right card to pick. Well, I'm a little bit worried. So now, as you can see, it's quarter past. Now I know. Fifteen minutes isn't all that much to be worked up about, but even for Vexen, that's a little bit strange. No, Sax, you have such a way with words. Uh, what's the point? Well, it's six o'clock now, and there's no sign of him. Maybe there was an error in plans or miscommunication. I'll wait. I'll wait. It's only an hour. I mean, experiments. It's probably nothing to worry about, I'm sure. <clears throat> I'll wait for him. However long it takes. Seven o'clock. Let's just face it, he's not coming. Maybe he could change his mind and try to show up in person to make it up to me. I'm sure there's a good reason. He wouldn't be frightened by the idea of openly discussing a child. What if he feels the same? Raising a child with no heart, I mean. How can... how can I be... a decent father if I don't have the capacity to feel? Sure, I've been able to get by on my own. I could never guidance or companionship. He'll come. He will. He wouldn't miss our anniversary. You're only pretending. <sighs> what have you done, Lord Sword? <laughs> 